um, the night before our um, healing room, we went ahead and prayed and we had some disagreement, my husband and I, of um, going to the healing room and I know that that was the enemy trying to come against us. I had learned um, about healing and laying of hands and being able to rebuke anything that is on somebody's body through the classes I was taking here at Livingstones. And um, so the night before we came to the healing room, I laid hands on my husband. And as soon as I did that, immediately he started having chills. And I kept saying, rebuke the chills, don't claim the chills. Then he said his head was hurting and he was just having constant um, sweats and just not feeling well. And I knew in my heart that this was the enemy coming against us because we wanted to come to the healing room. He was even ready to even openly share that he had this viral issue in his body. He had never before opened it up to anybody besides myself and my mother, uh, mother-in-law. And um, so the night, the day of the healing room, it was about nine o'clock in the morning and he couldn't even get out of bed. He was so aching, like a flu-like symptom all over his body. And I left the house about half an hour later and I said, Lord, this is in your hands that, you know what, if we go, we go, and if we don't, we don't. And I know that maybe that was a test from God to say, hey, you know, do you truly trust me? And I came back about two hours later, it was about 11 o'clock, and my husband was up walking around the home saying, hey, what time's the healing room going to be? I said, 3 o'clock. And he said, okay, we're going. Well, we got ready to go to the healing room, and for the first time, like I said, my husband confessed on a piece of paper that, hey, I'm having some viral issues in my body, and I want to be healed. And I professed that I wanted healing in my marriage, and I wanted healing for an ovary issue that I've had for years of just heavy blood flow. Um, upon going in there, we prayed together in the quiet room, and we came in there, but the amazing thing was, before they even looked at our folders, you know, Sherry saw a heart issue with my husband. Little did she know that it was more than just a heart issue with physical, but the spiritual. But the crazy thing was with the heart issue was my husband's grandfather died at the table at the age of 50 due to heart issues. And um, it was due to anger and hurt that was in his life that he couldn't let go of, that he just died. And it turns out that through speaking to his aunts, it's been a generational thing with his father and now with my husband of, of father wounds. And for them to be able to speak to them in the healing room about, you know, I see heart issues and we're going to rebuke even just any physical heart issues, but yet the father wounds. And it just wowed my husband because he was just very skeptical. And to be able to speak to him about his issues with the um, viral, viral, um, whatever you want to call it, spirit of, of infirmity on him was being taken away um, by being prayed because he hasn't had a breakout since. He has not had a breakout since. And then for the women to come together and pray and get visions of my husband and I dancing together in a field and that there's peace and that just as if it was on our wedding day, it has happened over the past couple of months. There, there has been healing there. And God really was just throwing me a lifeline of, hey, you know what? Even though these women and these people do not know your true issues at home, but through prayer and through the Holy Spirit, they were able to speak to these women. I had a fear of cancer for a long time. I can't even remember how long, but because of the issues that I've seen in my own family, in my marriage, of just of coming to Christ and being on fire for God and not judging my family or my husband, but knowing that he made me just not have the heart knowledge. The enemy would use that against me and say, you're gonna have to die of cancer in order for you to be infirm, have that infirmity on you in order for your family to come to God. And I believed it so vividly in my mind and in my heart that I would just ache of, okay, God, if that's what you have to do, then go ahead. It was like I was giving, me the, en giving the enemy the foothold to say, take my body. And one of the women, when we were about to leave, said, God told me to tell you um, the cancer is canceled out. I began to weep because my husband didn't even know that I had a fear that it was going to be that me, myself having to be, um, be stricken with cancer in order for God to, to do a work in my family. And it was just a confirmation of God telling, telling through somebody else, hey, you know what? That is a lie from the enemy. And, and, and from the, that day, I, I'm just like, you know what, enemy? No sorry, it's not happening. And, and so there has been a healing there in both um, my belief and, and what, how God speaks through people, even though it's people that you don't speak to every day, it's through the, the lifeline, the holy Wi-Fi of the Holy Spirit speaking to people. And as far as my ovary, it's just, it's hard to even explain, but I know it's God. That, that there's no issues there, but I know that God used that because the funny thing was the day that Sherry told me 
that my um, ovary issue, the cyst on my ovary, is due to a broken relationship with my mother. She didn't even know that, I didn't even write it on the paper that my mother and I have not had a close relationship since I was 15 years old. And for the Lord to use her that day, which happened to be my mother's birthday, That's crazy. was crazy and I didn't even realize it until the next day in church. And if anything, I know my mom, I don't know where she is, but I know that my mom is covered in prayer because I know the Lord had used that to maybe even stir up some stuff in my heart that even if I do have any malice or hurt towards her, that I can't physically go to her, but I know that I can go to my Father in Heaven and say, God, I forgive her, and that I want the brokenness to be mended through my heart. So he used that cyst to, to show me that, and now it's gone, and God's like, okay, now we can move on. So. That's, that's that with the testimony, but I just want to give glory to God.